the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Oh, we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that, secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. <coughs> Grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from St. Rose of Lima, from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord, for it is not the one who recommends himself who is approved, but he whom the Lord recommends. If only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our psalm response. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you hosts. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Let the kings of the earth and all the peoples and the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys, praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. Amen. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has lifted up the horn of his people. But this is praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever lives in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Today the church remembers Saint Rose of Lima, uh, a patron a patroness, saint of Peru and America. Uh, and I was, again, uh, kind of
kind of going over in my mind and looking up some of the different things that Rose is said to have uh, uttered, I mean, some famous quotes from Rose of Lima. And I'll, I'll probably uh, paraphrase it. Uh, but at first glance, when I thought about it, I was like, I, what? I had to think about it. Um, Rose is said to have offered this idea. If one wants to ascend to the heights of heaven, one must be willing to bear the burden of the cross. And I thought that to ascend, if you want to ascend, you have to bear a burden. I thought the burden would be what would weigh us down and therefore we would not be able to ascend. And as I kept thinking about it and praying about it this morning, I have to admit, my first, I, I went to another thought, which reminded me of my childhood. I, I don't know, you. many of you are parents. Uh, when your kids complained about school, did you use that line that uh, when you were their age, you had to go walk two miles uphill both ways, fighting off the grizzly bears with your spiral notebook just to go to school? Did y'all ever use that line? Okay, or you've heard it? Yes, okay. So we used it and heard it. Growing up in Louisiana, mine that I heard was they would have to swim two miles in the bayou, uphill both ways, fighting off the alligators with the spiral notebook just to go to school. And that's when I think it finally clicked, using that little silly example. But if we think of the cross as a back and we're going to climb a hill, uh, a mountain. That cross becomes a necessary means for us to climb the hill. Because in our backpack, we store, if we were going on a trip, we're going to climb a, a hill or a mountain, we would store snacks, water, first aid in case we... Uh, tripped and sprained an ankle. We'd probably have a stick with us to make sure that we had that extra little bit of security. But the cross is like that. Because in our backpack of the cross, along our ascension, we carry with it one of the most important means of, uh, of uh, supplies. And that is the opportunity for grace and God wants to give us grace as we ascend the, the mountain toward heaven and we have to look at the cross not as a burden something to dread but something to embrace our spouses our children our family this church, me, we can all be burdens, crosses to other people. We don't get repulsed normally, I would say that by our children or, or our spouses, but we love them and we embrace them. And yes, they are a cross because God bless them, they can be annoying. I can be annoying, you can be annoying. But we have to accept that with the love and the companionship we have, yeah, there are some things that can get on our nerves, can become the means of grace so that we don't sit there and complain, oh gosh, if only you would load the dishwasher correctly. How many fights are over that silly thing? But just to say, I'll keep my mouth shut, it's not worth it. In fact, I will compliment them on something else and let them know how much I love them. So we have to start to look at life and say this life, yeah, it can be a burden, it can be a cross, but it can be a salvific cross that gives us the opportunity each day to grow in grace and holiness 
so that we can have the necessary strength and supplies to ascend the mountain of the Lord to where we finally attain our destiny, glory in heaven with him. And those who have made the walk already like Rose of Lima. But I'll conclude with one thing. We don't need to try to tread our own path as we go up the mountain. Rose of Lima and others have already tread a beautiful path. We just have to follow where they led in prayer and service to others. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We especially remember those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. And we conclude by praying God's blessing upon those who have donated toward our legacy campaign so that we can build a new home to worship God in. And let us also pray God's blessing upon those who will donate in the future to help us. We pray to the Lord. Lord Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory Glory be to to the the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the virgin blessed rose of Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you. As without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, all of your glory, Hosanna. Blessed is you, come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed.
be holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. And make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory, and the world shine forever. Lord Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> B 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you. Thank you. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Amen. Michael, the archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise is protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the one who told us back from the audience. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that can solve it. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and happy intercession. Blessed be her glory of salvation. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin's Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be 